Uh, okay. Let's take a mi uh, I honestly have no idea what we were going what I was going for with that. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I was uh restarting. Okay, so here's the story so far. <laughs> Maybe I should play some Animal Crossing movie music. No. Hi. No. Okay, 5 p.m. I was gonna go for like the pre-town hall music. I don't know what to search for for that because I'm kind of like missing it. Um... I wonder if I can, like, apply some, like, fucked up filter. Is there, like, a wub, wub filter? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Your name is Scoot, and you are a duck villager from Animal Crossing. You're moving into a new town and about to lease a new home from Tom Nook. The leader of the town's resident services. You like to say zip zoom a lot and have already made friends with the local gorilla villager, Louie. I wrote this part. 
You hope your new life is filled with plenty of adventures. I love how like earnest I am like forcing the AI to be. You open the door and breathe in the fresh air of a new day full of bugs to catch and real fish to reel in. You turn to your left and wave hi to your neighbor, Mo the cat. He sits on the grass, gazing, la gazing up lazily at the sky. Clouds look very yummy today, Mion, he says. You clap your little duck hands together as you go for a stroll. Mo looks o and this is the AI speaking. Mo looks over at his shoulder at you, but doesn't seem to mind. Then he turns back to watch the clouds. The shun sun shines down on him through the trees, making him glow redder than usual. It seems it would be a good time for a nap. Let me just put up a picture of Mo. He has a sad, bad sunburn. I don't really... Oh, God. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna Google that. I'm just gonna go to Twitter. To my, my own examples. Uh, from... Yeah, maybe it's a shiny mo. Oh, that would be absolutely horrendous. That would be horrible. Just imagine the, the just absolute chaos and the callousness towards virtual animals. You pass by resident services and squat down on the ground and have a sandwich. I write that. You, AI says, You take a deep breath and stretch out your arms so they're comfortable. A big bag of chips falls from above. The AI really liked saying this. The AI was obsessed with the bags of chips falling from above, landing on your head. You pick it up and eat it while watching the birds fly best overhead. I pressed enter and then suddenly Mo comes running over to you. Hey buddy, I found this cool bug on the road. He points to a small insect crawling along, along the side of the road. You nod and look around. There isn't much else to do here except sit in a chair or lie down in your own bed and wait for tomorrow. Like, I love how it just understands the vibe of Animal Crossing. Just from... Just, just from what little I've fed it. Like, it's almost, like, self-satirical. Like, this AI is really good at, like, making itself funny for some reason. Anyway, I wrote, You take out your bug catching it and get ready to catch the bug. AI says, You stand up and grab your net, which has a handle on one end. You swing it over your head and catch the bug in its mouth. I don't know what that means, but let's move on. It squirms in your hand as you hold it there, waiting for Mo to come back. I write, you quack at Mo. Hey, you say, I caught the bug. It was a cicada. Mo claps excitedly for you. Other villagers nearby clap too. I was I was wanted to see if it would like be able to generate other villagers, but instead it wrote, that's right, buddy. Cicadas are really cute and tiny. They all clap their hands and run over to you. Mo runs off to tell someone else, leaving you alone with your bug. I press enter again. You put the bug in your pocket and begin to think about what kind of animal you'd want to be if you could choose again. You don't know, but maybe a squirrel? Maybe even an owl? Or perhaps a snake? I wonder if it understands this at all. This would probably make it easier to read. 
You wonder if there's any snake villagers aside from the bunny villager named Snake. You walk down the street wondering where all these people are coming from. In fact, you can't find anyone. The only thing that makes sense is that they must be in another town entirely. Why would anyone leave their hometown just to live somewhere else? Oh my god. What happened? Um... Well, they can't... Well, no, they can't have done anything. Maybe an, uh, maybe everyone was uh, an, uh, an <laughs> You check the calendar. Your pr proprietary nook phone. <laughs> Whoops, I, I typo. This is going to confuse the AI. I don't like this. I don't like where this is going. You think? <laughs> let's just be. Let's be more assertive. They're waiting for you. You think to yourself, no, they can't have left town. Everyone must have gone to an event for an event today. Maybe they're waiting for you. You check your calendar for your on your proprietary Nook phone. It says that tomorrow is Sunday, but you haven't seen anyone. Why is it so obsessed with the town being deserted? <laughs> Why is this turning into horror? You start to walk faster, hoping that whoever is leaving town will hurry up and leave you behind, too. No. No. Bad AI. Bad. Let's try that again. It says that everyone is... Did I choose the apocalypse option? No, I chose custom. This was my prompt. Like, this was me trying to, like, was it, um... Maybe I should have been more elaborate with the prompt, but whatever. You think to yourself, no, no, they can't. You start... You think to yourself, no, everyone must have gone to an event today, maybe they're waiting for you. You check out your calendar for your proprietary nick phone, you says today. You should meet them soon. Start walking faster and faster until you reach the park. You're gonna be late if nobody shows up, so you decide to go inside and ask them directly. Go inside where? <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is the closest it's come to, like, not being about being abandoned. Go inside the park, yes. You're going to be late if nobody shows up. You know what? I'm just going to try that again. No, no, Scoot does not go to school. You've been meaning to go ever since you got... But now you're thinking about it more. Everyone... Everyone must... Hmm. 
and it must be Over to the pond and, and spot. It's really hard to control the size. Well, it seems to understand that, that animals are in this town.
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, we're looping. Why is it always so ominous? Scoot lives a most ascetic lifestyle, apparently. You take, you look around the room and notice there are no pictures or paintings anywhere. Nothing to remind you when you were younger either. Your your duck bill quick. His failed art career. Um, let's see.